What's up guys, my name is Brock, you're watching The Modest Man, and today we're talking about the best shoes for fall and winter. You've seen the pumpkins out on the porches, your dad's talking about turkey, and you're brushing up on your politics to get ready to debate your uncle this Thanksgiving. Also, your t-shirts are still sitting in the drawer and you haven't touched a pair of no-show socks in weeks. It's fall, and winter is coming, and you need to be prepared. All right, before we get into today's video, quick thank you to today's sponsor, ShopTagger. Now, ShopTagger is doing a $500 Black Friday giveaway. It's available to both existing ShopTagger users and new users. So if you don't use ShopTagger, check the link down in the description, uh, get the app or the browser extension, and then be sure to tag at least two items before November 21st. The winner will be selected on November 22nd and notified directly via email. So what is ShopTagger? It's like a virtual shopping assistant that helps you save money on anything that you buy online. Uh, they're integrated with over 4,000 stores, pretty much any product you need. Uh, they'll give you back in stock alerts and notifications of price drops. So you can use the app, you can use the browser extension, which is what I use. You can see here it has amazing reviews. It's very easy to use. And best of all, it's completely free. So say, for example, that you're shopping for a new pair of suede chukka boots, for example, the J. Crew McAllister, one of my all-time favorites. Uh, rather than just buying it, maybe you're not ready, or maybe it's out of stock in the size and color that you want, or maybe you're just waiting for it to go on sale. If you have the Shop Tagger extension, you just click the button, and you can save it to your shop tagger list. So you can tag it, uh, you can choose your size, color, and notification settings. So I'm gonna say any price change I wanna know about and then save it to my shoes list. Click save and just like that, it is in my account. And now I'll get an email whenever that product goes on sale or is back in stock. So here's an example. I got an email uh, a little while ago uh, when these Banana Republic core temp pants were on sale for 50% off. So then, you know, if you have a little patience, you can buy it uh, a little bit later uh, for a much better price. The other cool thing about ShopTagger is when you're actually checking out and buying the product, uh, the app will look for any active coupon codes for you. So you don't have to go hunting around those shady coupon sites. Uh, it will do that for you. And so this is literally helping you save time and money. So if you are on the market for a new pair of shoes or boots for this fall or winter, I highly recommend using ShopTagger as you shop online. It's just the best way to stay organized and get the best possible prices. If you don't already have ShopTagger, check the link down in the description and download it today. It's free. And like I said, if you get in on it now, uh, you can be eligible to win that $500 Black Friday giveaway. Big thanks again to ShopTagger for supporting the channel by sponsoring this video. Now, this part of the year is great for style. We get to layer up. We have a lot more options for what us guys wear every day, whether we're students or going to work. We just have more options. And I personally think it's great. But what are the best shoes? You know, what kind of shoes do you wear with your awesome layered up outfits? Well, that's what we're talking about today. So we're going to talk about what actually makes a good cold weather shoe. And then we'll look at some specific examples and brands that I recommend. So what makes a good fall and winter shoe? Well, with the cooler weather, we tend to layer up and wear thicker, more durable fabrics. So in general, our outfits are bulkier and our silhouettes are a little bigger. So basically, you just want your footwear to follow suit. You want it to have the same vibe as the rest of your outfit. Additionally, we tend to wear more interesting fabrics and textures during the cooler months and especially during fall, richer colors that kind of follow what's happening outside with the trees. You know, I'm talking about deep yellows and oranges and reds and browns and greens and corduroy and wool, and really it just looks good when your shoes kind of match this aesthetic. Of course, you can get by with just wearing brown leather boots all fall and winter, and that's totally fine, but if you want some more options, pay attention because that's what we're talking about. So the first shoe I want to talk about is the Chukka Boot. Chukka Boots are ankle length, usually made from leather or suede, and they only have a few pairs of eyelets, so it's a very simple boot. Uh, a desert boot is just a more casual, kind of unstructured Chukka Boot that usually has a suede upper and a crepe sole. But under the umbrella of Chukkas, there's many different kinds, from casual to dressy, and really anybody can find a pair of Chukkas that works for their needs. I used to have a pair from J. Crew. It was the J. Crew McAllister. It was a desert boot, so it was a very casual Chukka an unstructured uh, suede upper. I had it in gray, and it was one of my favorite 
all time pairs of shoes. Uh, and I will link to it down below if it's still in stock. A great all around chukka that's kind of not too dressy, but not too casual is the Scout from Thursday Boot Company. And it's also available in a wide variety of colors and leather or suede, including a weather safe suede, which is a huge plus. Of course, you can't go wrong with the Clark's Desert Boot. It's a classic and for the money, you really can't do much better. It's gonna serve you well for a long time. Next up, we have the work boot. Now there are really two types of work boots. There's the ones that you actually do work in like if you have a construction job and then there's the ones that you wear to work if you make videos about fashion and we're gonna talk about those so like I said when you start to layer up with vests and sweaters and quarter zips and jackets your top half gets pretty bulky and it makes sense to make sure that your bottom half and your footwear follow suit a pair of brown leather work boots and I, I used work boots lightly you know it's really like a, a dress work boot or a fashion work boot um, but because of its work boot construction, it can still take a beating. And really, you know, a pair of boots like this can serve you well for many, many years, especially if it's Goodyear welted and can be resold. There are so many good brands for work boots, you know, Thursday Boots, Wolverine, Red Wing, uh, tons of options out there. Uh, I picked up this year, this pair from Grant Stone. It's the Diesel from Grant Stone, and I'm really, really liking it so far. Uh, very little break-in period, pretty comfy out of the box. And once I put some more miles on it, I'll give you a full review. And guys, if you want links to different picks, you know, value picks and splurge picks and budget picks, uh, check out the article version of this video. It's got a lot more info and links in there. And I'll link to that down below in the description. Next up, we have the moccasin. And I know you might be thinking, aren't moccasins kind of a summer shoe? Well, the thing is there are tons of different types of moccasins and the blue mock and the camp mock are perfect for fall and winter. So this here is one of my favorites. It's the LL Bean signature blue mock. So it's kind of their higher end version and it's really durable, really, really comfortable, and it's great for fall. It's kind of like a boat shoe for the rest of the year. So you can definitely wear this without socks in the springtime if you wanted to, but you can also wear it with thick wool socks in the fall and winter, and it'll keep you warm. Uh, you can get it wet, you know, it's very durable, and it's a very rugged, kind of preppy, but timeless aesthetic. You can also go with like Minnetonka or GH Bass. I mean, there's a lot of different brands that make really good mocks at all different price points, and I'll link to some of my favorite picks down below in the description. I also really like the camp mock aesthetic, which is basically just like a blue mock, but with a higher ankle. Uh, so it's more of like an ankle boot. And it's also a great choice. Just kind of depends on how high you want your shoe to wear. Okay, next up we have the minimal sneaker. Now, if you've been following for any amount of time, you probably know that I'm kind of obsessed with the white leather minimal sneaker. Uh, and I will wear those all year round but it's kind of cool in fall and winter to have something in a darker colorway. You know, I really like this one. It's like, this is from Ace Marks, and it's like this rich brown upper and this, these kind of golden laces, which, you know, you can replace those with any color. And then this gum sole. And I think the brown and gum sole look so cool together and it's so perfect for fall. Looks great with like navy chinos or dark wash jeans or olive chinos, just a very versatile color and a great seasonal alternative to the ubiquitous white leather sneaker. I would definitely recommend Ace Marks. I would also recommend Koyo, probably my number one pick for leather sneakers. And of course, if you're a baller, you can go with the Common Projects Achilles. They have a bunch of different colorways, mostly solid colors, and uh, obviously that's a great choice too. And sticking with sneakers, next up we have the Retro Trainer. So, you know, this is kind of an alternative to the middle, minimal sneaker. This is uh, more of a bulky silhouette, so it's great for those fall and winter outfits. It's just got more going on. You know, it's not a minimal sneaker. Now this is the great Pronto. I don't think they make this anymore, but there are a lot of options and you don't have to spend a ton of money. You can go with something from New Balance, for example, and you can find pretty much any colorway, any color combination that you want, you know, whatever kind of fits the rest of your wardrobe. If you're on a more of a budget, you can also go with like the Onitsuka Tiger. Uh, their Mexico 66 is like their classic red, white, and blue, but they have a bunch of different colors. You can go with something from Tree Torn or like I said, New Balance. Um, you know, definitely shop around, but I think the kind of chunkier retro training shoe is a really cool complement to the minimalist sneaker that you see everywhere. Next up, definitely one of the best options for fall and winter, we have the Chelsea boot. When it comes to cooler weather and the cold weather seasons, Chelsea boots are right up there with hot chocolate and pumpkin pie. They look fantastic dressed up or down. This is probably my favorite Chelsea boot. It's the Duke from Thursday Boot Company. Definitely a casual Chelsea boot. So, you know, it doesn't have that really dressy, sleek silhouette, but since my style is more casual and smart casual, 
This fits into my wardrobe really nicely. It is Goodyear Welt. It's got weather safe suede, so I've worn these in, in rain and slush and they're fine. Um, and if you're looking for a more casual Chelsea boot, I think this is a great option. This honey suede color I found has been really versatile. Looks good with any shade of denim, uh, you know, olive chinos, navy chinos, definitely you can wear it with black jeans. So a uh, surprisingly versatile color. But just like with Chaka boots, Chelsea boots come in a wide spectrum of formality. So if you want something dressier that you can wear to a business casual office or even with suits, you know, look for something with a more sleek, kind of refined, uh, longer silhouette and probably something in leather. Speaking of business casual, another great choice for fall is the suede blucher. So the suede blucher or derby is a great everyday shoe, especially for office wear. Uh, it's a more casual alternative to the Oxford. And if you you get it in suede, especially in like an earth tone, like a brown or tan, uh, it's gonna look really good during fall and winter. A great budget pick would be the Eastland 1955 edition Fairfield. Uh, Eastland's been around for a long time. Uh, they make a great shoe for the price. You know, it's nothing fancy, but uh, if you're on a budget, it's a great choice. And then if you wanna spend a little more money, the Grant Stone Long Wing also looks really nice. Uh, and just got a little more broken and detailing, but definitely appropriate for business casual. If you do want to wear a boot to work, uh, go with a dress boot. You know, something a little more formal than the work boot or the casual Chelsea that we looked at earlier. Beckett Simonon makes a great dress boot, especially for the price. Uh, but the classic example of a really nice dress boot is the Allen Edmonds Dalton wingtip. And this is something that you could, you could wear to work with a business casual or even with kind of like a more casual suit. And it's basically just a dress shoe with a higher ankle. So, you know, if, you, if your pants are over the top, no one's even gonna know you're wearing a boot. So dress boots are basically just like dress shoes just for fall and winter. And last but certainly not least, we have the loafer. Now loafers are way more versatile than most people give them credit for. You know, a lot of people wear their loafers during spring and summer, maybe even like without socks or with no-show socks, but then they leave them in the closet collecting dust as the weather starts to cool down. I'm not saying you'd want to be caught in a snowstorm wearing these bad boys, but you can definitely wear them during the fall and winter with thick wool socks and it's a really comfy, really elegant look. And the cool thing is if you have your pants hemmed to like a no break or slight break look, uh, because of the low cut nature of these shoes, you'll show off your sock a little bit. So it is important to wear the right socks, you know, like the right colors that kind of match your pants and the rest of your outfit. Now, quick pro tip, when in doubt, if your socks are just one shade darker than your pants in the same color, it's so the same color family, but one shade darker, they're gonna look good. So no matter what, like yes, you can wear complementary colors or patterns or funky socks or whatever, but if you're wearing uh, medium blue trousers, dress pants, and you wear dark blue socks with brown loafers, that's gonna look good every time. My pick for loafers, my number one pick uh, would be Jay Butler. This company specializes in loafers. Uh, so it's, it's like all they do and they do a really good job for the price. Um, this is their classic penny loafer, but they also make a bit loafer and they even make it in this olive suede with gold details and then a burgundy. And it's just such a nice color for fall, especially if you're the kind of guy that likes to go to holiday parties. Wherever you get your loafers, don't leave them in the closet during fall and winter. You know, bust them out, wear some thick wool socks, maybe even some alpaca socks, and just see how you feel. Trust me on this one. So some of these shoes are going to work better in certain conditions. You know, if it's really rainy and slushy, obviously you're going to want a pair of proper uh, waterproof boots. You know, if you live somewhere that gets a true winter, you're going to want a pair of winter boots. But most of the shoes that we've talked about today are perfect for the fall and the winter aesthetic. And if you're trying to kind of round out your collection a little bit with some more seasonally appropriate footwear, I definitely recommend checking the links down in the description. If you have any questions for me about anything we've discussed or anything at all, leave them down below in the comment section. Uh, thank you as always for watching and until next time, stay stylish.